Pinellas County is the most densely populated county in the state, yet somehow in parts of the county there is a distinctive rural feel. Check out this map. This is 102nd Avenue North at Walsingham Park, a busy street well used by pedestrians, cyclists, and horses. There's 50 plus acres of wooded trails, and then over here we have a safe trail, and that's for all the people who have horses north of the, the to get on the safe trail. There's several entrances, and then they ride behind the neighborhood to get to 102nd across to the main park. This is that crossing. Sandy Waite has been a member of the Walsingham Horsemen's Association for two decades and has been asking for a dedicated safe crossing here for a long time. And periodically over the last 20 years, I have asked apparently all the wrong people for a crosswalk here. Then something wonderful happened. Not only did the county put up new vibrant signs warning drivers of the crossing, but they also installed flashing LED lights to make sure drivers were aware that someone, or in many cases, something was in the crosswalk. This is my new friend Apache. Isn't he beautiful? You'd be shocked at the things people do to this horse and horses like him just as he's trying to safely get across the street. Some people honk their horns at the horses. In the past, they've thrown bottles and cans from the car, all things that could easily scare or startle the animal and endanger the lives of both horse and rider, not to mention the damage to a car involved in a crash with an animal this size, but not anymore. The new signs and LEDs are up and traffic is paying attention. The people are responding very well. They're stopping immediately. It's great. Yeah. That's certainly going to make getting down the road safer for everyone. In Pinellas County, Chuck Henson, Bay News 9.